Hey you guys, what is up? So let me can we just talk about this look really quick? I feel like this look is screaming everything Valentine's Day without like being in your face like Valentine's Day. Like it just it's like subtly Valentine's Day. So I just want to you know a little background info on like what inspired this look today. Obviously Valentine's Day, but when I hear Valentine's Day, I think about chocolate, yum, yum, yum. I think about roses, red roses, to be exact. And also those heart-shaped candies with the written messages in the middle that come in assorted colors. But the one color that comes to mind when I think about those candies is that the like the pink one and the purple one. So details with the eyes. The brown represents the chocolate. The metallic red is red roses, and then that like pinky purple in the center of this halo cut crease obviously represents those heart-shaped candies with the messages written on them so that was just like a little little spiel on what inspired <laughs> inspired can't speak um so that is just a little bit of background information on what inspired this look for today yeah without further ado if you guys want to see how to create the sleigh for v-day or for any day any occasion keep on watching let the games begin and let's get started all right you guys so we've already done one eye off camera it's time to zoom in and get started on our other eye i'm really excited about this one this, this is gonna be a good one i'll be taking the shade taza from the saharan 2 palette so i'm just gonna go ahead and place taza all over my crease because this is gonna be my transition shade and i'm gonna be sure to go ahead and also drag the shade out we're kind of going for that same winged eyeshadow effect, but maybe not as drastic as the last look. I'm going to go ahead and take that same shade, Taza, and keep it on my lower lash line, making sure to connect the top and the bottom, you guys. And I'm just going to drag that shade out from the bottom as well, so we have a nice winged eyeshadow shape going on. Taking the single shadow fudge from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm going to place fudge right on the outer portion of my eye. I'm going to place the color down and then start blending. I'm going to be sure to blend outward as well to continue creating that winged shape. I'm also placing fudge in my inner corner. Because we're doing a halo cut crease, you want the inner and outer corners to have the most depth. Now I'm just taking my Dark Side Waterproof Eyeliner from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm letting my lower lash line and my waterline staying in the shade Fudge. I'm just going to go ahead and run that along my lower lash line, being sure to smudge out that eyeliner that I just placed down and really smoke things out. Jumping into the shade Fez from the Saharan 2 palette, so I'm going to go ahead and place Fez. So I'm really using Fez to just keep things very rich. I want I want the color to be very rich and not dull. So this is what Fez is doing for us. Next I'll be taking the Single Shadow Smoke from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm going to be placing smoke right on the outer edge of my eye. And we're just placing this color down for some added intensity and depth in the outer region. And I'm going to make sure to go ahead and drag this shade out to continue with that winged eyeshadow shade that we're going for, you guys. Okay. I'm also placing this shade in my inner corner for added depth here as well. So I'm running that shade smoke along my lower lash line to further intensify what's going on down here. So it's definitely time to cut this crease and I am taking my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC20. I did learn a cool trick from one of my subscribers, shout out to Allison. Um, so basically I'm putting my concealer on the base and then I'm going to look up. Boom! Right there, above the crease. So it transferred and I'm just going to go ahead and fix this now I'm just taking the pad of my finger and going ahead and blending out the harsh lines on the side of this cut crease. I'm taking Turkish Delight from the Desert Dusk palette. I'm placing this shade Turkish Delight right on the sides. Now I'm just blending out the sides of Turkish Delight to make sure that I have a good blend, smooth transition between both colors. 
Taking the shade Tarte from the Deuce palette, I'm going to place Tarte right in the center. Taking a, a little bit of Rowdy from the Subculture palette, I'm placing Rowdy right on the outer edge just for a little bit more depth. I'm also taking a little bit of Rowdy in the inner corner as well. Whatever is left on my brush, I'm just going to take that on my lower lash line and smoke things out. I'm just going to place Tarte in my inner corner as a highlight. That's pretty much it for eyes today, you guys. So I'm going to just do my eyelashes and eyeliner off camera. But for lashes today, I am taking the Noelle lashes from Huda Beauty. So I'm going to do these things and we'll be right back. And we are back with the eyelashes on and um, yeah, so it's, it's time to just jump into the rest of the makeup to finish up this face today. We are taking um, Fulani Little Mint. Ah, I've already hit pan. Oh my goodness. And we're just going to place this right here. So at this time, I'm going to go ahead and do my contour, and for contour today, I just decided to keep with like this little like chocolatey theme, and we are taking the shade Chocolat from the Deuce Palette by Juvia's Place, and it's that guy right here. You, If you've been watching my videos, you know that chocolate's the way to go. Like, I like, I like, I like chocolate. Juvia's Place, we need cho chocolate and Fulani in a palette, and we need like face size pans. This is this is what we need. This is what I need. I'm pretty sure a lot of people would be into that too. So, <laughs> okay. I've totally done this combination before with my um, contour and my blush, so I'm gonna do it again because I liked it. I'm taking the Gradient Blush Kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I am gonna be taking the shade Chocolate which is this shade here. It's very, um, it's very nice and subtle and that's what I kind of want. I don't want anything too pink um, and, I, and chocolate it does well. So we're just going to pop that on our cheeks to add some color back into our face. So I'm just going to place this on the apples of our cheeks. See like it's subtle. It's not anything crazy and I do enjoy that. Look at that. It's like a soft. I love this. Ladies and gentlemen, it is definitely time to get into this glow situation and I am going to be very cheesy and just do what I did last time. I am taking the Amrezy Times ABH Highlights because you, it does launch on Valentine's Day so it's just appropriate to use it today. Um, but you know, here, we're going to take a little look at this guy right here, the waves the waves of this highlight. Anyway, we're going to use this and we're just going to put this all over our face and be living and love it. This this is really, it melts into the skin like butter. I just, we're just going to, everywhere. I'm going to go ahead and take this on my cupid's bow, on my nose, and in the bridge right here. Okay guys, so I'm also just going to put this on my brow bone to highlight because I just fell in love with what it is doing on my skin. So, I can't get it up. Just... So it's definitely time to go ahead and do our lips today. And for lips, I am going to be taking a color that I have just been saving to use. And I'm finally able to use it because this, is, this look just like... Once I did this look, I was like, I know exactly what I'm doing for lips. So, I am going to be taking the Mademoiselle lipstick from Fenty Beauty. And she is in the shade Griselda. How are you doing? Let, should we do, shall we do a little swatch? Let's just. Like, I don't even have to say anything. Let's, let's get this on our lips. I am gonna be a little bit extra and just add onto my lips. Alright, so the color that I used in here for my inner corner, which is Tarte from the Deuce palette, I'm just gonna put that on my lips just because, like, I, I just feel like it's missing something. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop that on my lip. So 
So I did a little shopping today, and I kind of just did, I just, the, I did, I did something. So I'm going to take, which one do I want? Let's do lavender. I've never tried the lavender one. I'm going to go ahead and finish things off with the Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe, chamomile, and lavender. Let's do it. Oh, that is so refreshing. I like that one. Hmm. I think it's definitely like a new obsession of mine to like put eyeshadows with the lipstick. It just really changes them. Like it spices things up a little bit. But I do want to thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial today. If you enjoyed the tutorial, you already know the drill. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up for me. It would help me a lot, and it means a lot to me if you did. Um, go ahead and share this video. Spread the love. Spread Safai. Spread Safai everywhere. <laughs> So everybody needs a little sprinkle of Safai in their day. Um, feel free to drop some comments down below. Let me know what you think about this look. And if you are not yet a subscriber and you are still here, you are still watching, you're still here, go ahead and um, click that subscribe button. Let us be friends. Let's connect. It's an ever-growing family. There is space for everyone. And for my pre-existing subscribers, you guys know that I love you oh dearly and you guys mean the world to me. So I want to invite you to go ahead and click that bell button so you are notified every single time I upload a new video. No worries. You will not miss a beat. You're in the loop. Everything will be taken care of. For anyone watching that would like to see me you know, not only on YouTube, I am also on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. So you can just like get a peek into my life, my world. Um, you can follow me on those medias as well. I'll leave the links down below in my description box for you guys. But this is pretty much it for today. I want to thank you guys once again for watching this video. And um, yeah, that that's it, you guys. So I'll see you beautiful and amazing people in my next video. Peace out.